Hey developers, today we're going to talk about the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide by John Sanmez. I'm taking a first look at it, let's talk about it. Hey, and before you begin, as always, I just want to let you guys know that Udemy is having a quick $10 sale. I included links below with some of my favorite courses. Check them out, they are affiliate. If you click on them, I do get a couple bucks. Thank you, and let's begin. So the other day, I went ahead and purchased this book, you can see here. The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. It's by John Sanmez. And I've been going over the book. I only received it just recently. And I just wanted to give a quick update, a quick thoughts on, on how I like the book and, and uh, what I don't like about the book. So first off, you can see here, the book is super long, you, super big. I mean, you can literally use this as a doorstop. Uh, it's over 800 nearly 800 pages so you're gonna get a lot of information in here from uh, everything f that you'd want to know starting a career in software development and you could tell uh, some a lot of these these topics are basic for new developers but he does go into some solid career advice for developers that are a little farther along especially developers that are looking to change jobs negotiating um, even in topics about uh, leaving jobs. So you get a lot of different stuff here. Let me, I'll look through the table of contents here to give you an idea of what's available. So like there's, there's, it's broken up into five sections, the book. So you get everything from getting started as a software developer. So all the basic skills of like, should you go to college, a boot camp, should you teach yourself? And then the section two goes into a lot about getting a job. So everything from internships to how to find a job, creating a resume, and then this gets into some more, you know, a lot of, this is definitely a lot of practical advice of how to, uh, how, what the interview process is all about, uh, salaries and negotiation. I actually read a few of these chapters just to get an idea of, of, of how John writes and, and what kind of information is available in this, how to leave a job. So that's really interesting. Um, definitely as a new software developer, uh, years ago when I started, I had no idea you could negotiate and I had no idea how to, uh, even prepare for software interviews. You know, I thought it'd be like, okay, I got my degree and let me go and start interviewing and you know, they'll just, I'll just dazzle them with my brilliance and get jobs and really no, it's, it's really, especially nowadays with the rise of whiteboarding interviews and algorithm interviews and take home tests. You really need to know your stuff and you need to know, you need to practice a lot. It's definitely a lot of practice. And he goes over some, you know, good tips on interviews and then uh, contracting versus salary. Section three of the book is the overviews of programming languages, the different types of programming languages like backend, front end, DBA. It even talks about testing. I know John has a background in testing. Um, he's done testing and, and development, of course. Debugging, maintaining code. Uh, section four is working as a developer. So, so these are kind of some of the soft skills that you probably, if you've read John's other book, that this will be similar to that. So we're talking about dealing with coworkers, working on a team, selling your ideas, how to dress, how to behave, leadership positions, even has a women in tech chapter. And then the last section of the book is called advancing your career. So I think this kind of dovetails well into his blogging course, um, how to get a reputation outside of, um, outside of your work. So speaking at conferences, career paths, side projects, networking groups, and then he of course ends with parting words. So I've read a little bit of each section, but I certainly haven't deep dived into it. So this is kind of just a first look at everything in this book. Uh, what what struck me first, oh, and before I continue on to let you know, he does offer um, inside the book, uh, there's a link to a career guide toolkit, which gives you a, which he, pu um, he puts around $175 worth of value towards. Uh, I know that's really hard to determine how much value it is, but it seems like it's quite a bit. Uh, it's the software developer's job hunt action plan, uh, an interview crash course, some style 101 for software developers. He gives a list of books that you should read, 10 principles for highly effective debugging, 
skills assessment and negotiating for software developers. It's not really clear if some of these are just like PDF and worksheets or if these are full blown like video and audio courses. He says at least four to six hours of videos. So that in itself will be worth it. Uh, fortunately, uh, he has it, the link. I'm not going to give it away. You have to buy the book. It does. Uh, you have to opt into his email list, which is fine. And then uh, he said that it's not quite ready. The extra goodies that actually be ready in August 1st. So if you're watching this in the future, it may already be ready. But as of now, it's not quite there yet. But I think that's going to add a lot of value because it makes it more worth it to buy it. I so say. another few things about the book is if you read through it, and I don't know if I could show you like a page sample. You could see it a little bit. Uh, you're going to see throughout the book a lot of kind of this bold text and then white space and then a few paragraphs. And that's, I mean, it's a little bit annoying tick. I, I don't, it doesn't bother me after I read a few pages, but I could see that some people wouldn't like that style. It's a very easy read, but it does look like uh, one of the emails that you might get where they have a lot of white space. Every chapter or every paragraph is just one or two sentences. So it, that may or may not be your style. You may, may not like it. And then he really bolds different points within the each chapter. Um, each Actually, every page has at least one or two bold text, which kind of gives you an idea of what the important themes are when he's explaining it, but it can get a little annoying for some people. Once again, after I read a few pages, I didn't even notice it. Um, I, I do like the reading style, though. It's very conversational. It's very easy to read. Um, I had no problems with that. And, it's, and you could definitely hear John's voice when he if you've ever listened to his YouTube channels. And by the way, if you don't know, John Sonmes is a YouTuber. He does advice videos for programmers. And he also has a website called simpleprogrammer.com. And he has a podcast. And he's an entrepreneur. And he's one of the guys that uh, made it. So he went and was able to take his wealth and, and, and knowledge and retire early from software development and now he does a lot of entrepreneurship also throughout every chapter there's quite a few links uh, i guess i can call them links so, since we're using just paper text here so what i mean by that is so he'll uh, describe some topic and then he'll say well i wrote a blog post about it here or you may be interested in the book here and if you type that into your computer or if you're using the ebook i guess you could probably click on it You'll get a page which is really well done that has all the resources, minus the career toolkit that I was mentioning before, of what he's talking about. So I'll have links to every single one of the blogs that he mentioned or videos or anything like that. So that's kind of a nice nice thing to do. You just pop in that the, uh, the URL inside the book and you'll get all the resources to follow up on any of these subjects. So definitely a lot of breadth. Uh, a lot of good things, you know. You could see, you could tell this is this is a self-published book, but is extremely well made. Um, you know, really great cover art. Has you know, has a great back art to it. Uh, it very very well made. Um, the book itself, when I got it, it came a little dinged up. The you could see. I don't know if you could see this on the camera, but the side. Yeah, it kind of ripped on the side for some reason, so it came a little ripped. And the bottom of the book was a little was a little bit smashed. I mean, I'm being nitpicky here, but I've never had books that I bought like a little bit dinged up when I bought it. But I guess that's just part of of what uh, they're self publishing and and the publisher they had that made these on demand books for them. But uh, I mean, you can right now. I I'll leave a link below in the description. It'll be an affiliate link for Amazon for the book if you're interested. I, I they have a Kindle version I think it's around ten dollars and then the hardback version which at this time I think is sold out or they're re buying some more and I think that's like twenty nine ninety nine it might be twenty five ninety nine I'm not sure but uh, overall so far I'm really happy with the purchase like I said uh, I haven't read it all I've only read a few sections of each page since it's eight hundred pages but I could sense that it's going above and beyond what I could find um, just searching on the internet. I mean, I could probably find a lot of these topics online, but it's really nice to have 
it in one place, but there's a lot of knowledge here and a lot of stuff. I, I follow John's stuff a lot on his, on his YouTube page and this goes in a lot more depth and there's a lot of stuff he hasn't covered. So it's, uh, I would recommend it. I'd recommend it to pick it up for $10, you know, try it out. There's definitely going to be a section in here. If you're an experienced web developer or you're a new developer, uh, that you could be that you'll be interested in you'll learn something i mean we're not talking since it's 800 pages though we're in, he's not going into super in depth like on the interview section he didn't go into like here's the algorithm this is how you solve it this is what you do they're more like practical advice of like well you should google ag algorithms and here's some resources you can use to learn about it he even recommends cracking the coding interview which is a direct competitor of this book itself which i think is kind of funny but he's willing to say, hey, that's a great resource that people really like this book when you're trying to study for algorithms and interviews. So take that, uh, take that into consideration. Definitely check out the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. I'm not getting paid or anything to say this. Like I, I bought this book myself. I didn't, wasn't a free copy or anything. So check it out. Definitely well worth the $10. And if you like videos like this, please click that like button. That really, really, really helps me. And also, if you like me a lot, you can click that bell button. And every time I create a new video, you'll get notified, which would be even better. Take care.